But let's go into the Issues and Controversies section, the database, Issues and Controversies, which provides exclusive, extensive coverage of hundreds of today's hot topics with unbiased analysis and rich related resources. Clicking on it will take us to the lovely, clean design of the Issues and Controversies main page. Here we'll finally see the Facts on File brand. We will also see that we're still labeled like Washington Institute of Technology. Now below the search bar, there's a lot of really awesome ways to browse for information. You will have recent controversies and you can scroll through those. A lot of these are really great starting points for beginning research, by the way. If you are trying to find out a good topic for a specific type of project or assignment, you might scroll through these recent controversies. Or if you want the whole spectrum of information that's provided, you can actually look at the issues by subject. The main subject headers or the titles for the subjects are up above in bold. And then the smaller topics or subjects are underneath. Also, if you want to see every single issue in alphabetical order, you can do that by clicking on all issues A to Z, and you will notice them all here. Everything from animal rights, to human rights, to students' rights, to law and legal matters, to education policy, to racial profiling. This information resource, this database, Issues and Controversies, has a lot of amazing information and I will show you exactly what that means momentarily. But before we get into the nitty gritty of issues and controversies, let me finish explaining the layout. If you're looking for a very specific issue or a specific type of information, or you want to search by keyword, you can do that. You could type in teen pregnancy into the search bar, hit search, and you will get a lot of information articles and other content related to it. If you have a topic that is not listed here and you want to explore it in issues and controversies, chances are it will be represented somewhere within and using the search bar is the easiest way to find that information. The issues and controversies platform also allows you to look for information using the advanced search and if you create a personal account that is privately managed using um, or through the, the database platform, you will be able to have a search history here. Um, but let's say we just want to search for teen pregnancy and we didn't want to go in through the subject list, even though um, it might be down here. We can just click on the search bar. 17 results. Teen pregnancy, does learning about birth control in school help prevent teen pregnancy? Abstinence only education, are abstinence only sex education courses effective? And so on and so forth. You'll notice that there are a variety of subjects that are included here. So if you typed in something very broad that returned hundreds of results, you might narrow it down by clicking on one of the subjects. For example, if we wanted to limit our results for teen pregnancy to education, we simply click on education and then we will get the result that has been categorized by the editors of this database as relating to education. Here, we're back at our full list here. Similarly, if we wanted to narrow our results by the type of information resource that we're looking at, we could do that. These are the types of articles that are here. Everything from debate videos to primary sources to articles that were created for the, this specific database are all here, and we can narrow our results that way. One of the major qualities of the InfoBase Facts on File is that they use new routers, or Reuters, if you prefer to call it that way, um, for gathering or aggregating information. And so if you wanted to filter out non Reuters information, you could do that by clicking here. Similarly, you could filter out specific date ranges or filter in specific date ranges. So if we wanted the latest information and when we're talking about controversial topics, that is quite helpful. We can click on the latest information time span. So we are left with three results if we're looking at teen pregnancy between 2013 and 2016. Let's say we want to 
go into this article. We can click on it. And then we will get all sorts of information related to absence only education. And here, the great thing about issues and controversies is that they have both sides of the argument that is in question. For this example, we have the supporters of absence only education and the opponents. And I know for a fact that there are a lot of assignments at LW Tech that require showing both sides of both perspectives on a controversial topic. Reading the article, of course, will go beyond the summaries provided at the top. The amazing thing about the editorial design of this database is that you have related coverage on the right. You have an access to discussion questions if you really want to understand the topic fully. And then even more related articles here. If you're looking to see how this one specific topic relates to additional controversial topics, Issues and Controversies provides a great way to get access to that information and learn fully about a specific topic. From an information literacy and critical thinking point of view, there is no better database for getting the fullest picture and learning about the different connections of all of these issues and controversies. One more thing before I move backwards to the other database, I wanted to showcase that there are these specific tools for all of these different articles that you can see. Uh, you can print, you can save, you can download, you can share, you can cite, very important for your research assignments. You can also read out loud and translate if that is a better way for you to learn about this information. Translation, of course, helping if English is not your primary language. In a future video, I will go into advanced search tactics, and I will also explore the different tools above, including exactly how issues and controversies works by an issue-based system of information, more types of resources, and the types of sources that are used to fill the database with all of its great information. If you want to learn more about uh, issues and controversies, you can go down past all of the information at the bottom, including the references and the citation tool and the permalink, and you can click on about info-based learning to get more information. So let's go back to the top and let's go back to search results. Just a reminder that the, this is the best way to get all of the information on whatever you're searching for. Let's go back home. And then one final side of the issues and controversies database. We can click into a subject here, which we're browsing, and then we can see the various questions, ethical, moral, societal impact questions that have multiple sides to them that are fairly open. And then we can also see video content related to the topic in general, relevant debates, polls that aggregate information and data based on student interactivity and user interactivity in general, and then that news feed that I mentioned earlier in the video. You can also, and this is a really great feature, see the chronology of the issue and see how various court rulings and how various movements in societies all throughout the country and in the world have impacted the progress and the evolution of this issue. Topic pages or subject pages also have permalinks if you want to share them or save them with, for future use. Okay. So that was issues uh, and controversies. I'm going to take a brief pause to let you know that if you have any questions or want help using this great database for your assignment or general research, please reach out to the librarians in person at the library desk at LW Tech, or you can send us an email, send it to LW Tech, or I'm sorry, send it to library at lwtech.edu. Okay. 
Now it's easiest to use the back button to go all the way back to the facts on file main screen.